right, guys, welcome back to the couch. As you can see, we're about to finally take on our, our uh, last temple boss, so we're going to get right into that there. Just make sure before you go in that you equip the uh, giant's mask, because that's really all you're going to need for this fight. Um, you can use the light arrows, but it wastes more magic than using the giant's mask itself. Um, if you wanted to, you could have gone back to like the ranch and gotten a bunch of milk or bought green potions, um, but there are pillars inside to replenish your magic. Um, so let's go ahead and see our uh, new boss here. Now sadly, the Giant's Mask, this is the only actual place you get to use it. Um, but it's actually a lot of fun. And for some reason, the boss is... Uh, not too hard. Um, you literally just swing like a psycho with your sword, either hitting the head or the tail. So go ahead and pop this bad boy on and Kid Link becomes Giant Link. As you can see, just swing like a madman. Now the only problem is the camera angles, it likes to try and think you're not where you want to be. And also picking up magic is extremely difficult. We're going to take that off real quick and it's probably the only way you can't actually grab the magic jars. And if you stand too long in one place, the sand does, it sinks, so it's not a, a real good idea. Alright, Twin Mold, I get it, Jesus Christ. And they've really said there's pretty much uh, no point to Z-targeting because they move so much and you're not really going to stay on. You want to just go for the head of the tail. So there's one. As you can see, they don't really do anything else but just surface and, and go back under again. Yeah, you literally just chase him down and beat the crap out of him. Let's get the statue here for some magic. That's literally the entire boss fight. You're just swinging like an idiot. And then literally the last part of the game uh, before we deal with uh, Majora is we're going to get the strongest sword in the game, uh, which uh, sadly is just an item. Uh, it's not really an equipable weapon. Oh. 
So you have to kind of swing with the C stick as opposed to the normal B button. And it swings kind of weird, so it doesn't work on every enemy like you want it to. Um, but you kick the crap out of anything. It's awesome. It's literally four times stronger than the, straw, the sword that we already have. Um, so making it 12 times stronger than your original sword. And I believe you can do jump attacks with it, which makes it do two to four times damage, so you're just destroying everything. Those dudes look so weird to me. It's like they're just giant beards with arms and legs. And of course they want you to forgive uh, Skull Kid for what he's done. Even though you know we're about to kick the ever-living crap out of him. Oh yeah, now you're going to witness these little orbs kind of just clean up uh, the area and remove all the like the zombies and things walking around in the Gibdos. And after we get the, uh, <clears throat> the the awesome sword, we're literally going to be uh, heart piece hunting. We're going to get pretty much all the other remaining heart pieces in the game. Uh, except for the few that I didn't get because some of those games are just freaking ridiculous. So this is the final fairy fountain for the entire game, um, and she gives you the great fairy sword, yeah. That thing looks awesome. Looks cool like that, weird in your inventory. <laughs> So yeah, sadly it's a... Uh... Yeah, when you swing forward like that, that's where the angle isn't quite right. You want him to swing like straight down like this. Not this. <laughs> so you pretty much stick to using it like this. Or putting on your Deku mask by accident, you know. Um, so with that done, uh, literally all we're going to do now is um, warp back to Clock Town, deposit our money, reset time, and get to work on those heart pieces. Started to play the old Sun song from Ocarina of Time there for a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> And basically what we're going to be doing is visiting all the, the business scrubs throughout the areas of the game, trading them uh, the different deeds so we can go get heart pieces.
put on my bunny hood so we can speed that up. You know what is awesome though? We don't have to do that stupid statue bull crap anymore. Playing that song always took so long. Eh, I forgot to deposit one. That's alright. So I think what we'll actually do is uh, we'll make this a shorter video so that I can spend more time on the next one just going to hunt all those things down for you guys. Because um, I mean, on my little timer here, I've got about four minutes left, and so that means I've done about ten minutes or so for you guys. Um, so basically, right where we're going to pick up, uh, pick up from is standing in front of the observatory in clock down, about to grab the moon tier again. That's the first thing we need to do. Or I might stand at the entrance of the observatory so you guys don't miss out on what I'm doing. So yeah, here, we'll get, just get there real quick and then we'll call it good. Okay. Alright guys, this is where we're going to leave off at. Um, I will see you uh, back on the couch.